I am Mr. Hassan Muhammad as was told, the founder of Plasma University, which is one of the leading universities in the country now. And I'm going to talk about education. But before I go education, I would like just to, to give brief introduction about Plasma University that I'm from there. This is the campus, as you can see, Plasma <coughs> University campus. The buildings you can just see some now you can visit students who are doing some activities in their lab, especially College of Health Sciences. For reviewing, this is College of Agriculture and Veterinary Student Agency visiting the field, the farm of the university located near Palat. This is some public relations, especially international collaboration as we have in Kenya and some other East African countries. Some students are having exams in the class and outside. In a graduation, because why I'm briefing these pictures, I wanted to go to the purpose of I'm here about talking about education, but briefly I'm going to explain a little bit about the pictures. Here we have, you can see some students having graduation, first batch and second batch, in 2008 and 2009. After we finish this slide, we are going to say, just the establishing education system in Mogadishu without the state is something very big. It's not easy deal. As a founder, I'm feeling happy. I'm not one of those Somalis who are just returning back from the outside of the country. I was born in Mogadishu. I grew up in Mogadishu. I attend all my school, primary and secondary, and even uh, undergraduate level in Mogadishu. Then I have gone outside the country. I did my master in outside, especially in Uganda. Then I'm now doing my PhD in Kenya at the university. And I'm happy to see such young Somali people who, were not, who didn't go outside. And they were still in the country, studied in the country, working in the country, doing different things. And just see, giving you pride of this evotis. I'm happy some of the students are now here and some of the lecturers are here. And listening to this kind of lecture, I'm calling for the people who are outside, outside uh, audiences, who are just listening to us through the internet media, uh, even especially Somalis who are outside. I'm telling them that this, uh, there is a life in Mogadishu. You only see or watch TVs with the negative sides of the country. There are a lot of students studying and going to universities. I surprise sometimes while I go outside, meet the people who are talking about is there a primary school in Mogadishu? They are asking us, is there a primary school in Mogadishu? And we are talking about there is a university in Mogadishu, a student to go in university. There are a lot of secondary graduates who are graduating every year from the secondary schools of Mogadishu, and even graduates graduating from universities in Mogadishu. However the case, we are coming with this kind of difficulties and we are doing education under these circumstances and we like to see some people helping us. Not only are humanitarians, even education need much help. And we, we just believe as plasma, education is the only way that we can restore the hope of the coming generation, Somali generation. If we educate these people, we are sure they will just go and help themselves. But you cannot help anybody every day and give a bread every day. You better, instead of giving him a bread every day, to teach him how to make the bread itself. So then he can just see himself go and do this evotis by himself. I hope uh, the people who are listening to us will understand the area we are talking about. And we would like the mass media group to go to the city and visit schools, universities, hospitals, and show the people how the life is going beyond the war, how the life is going, and how these people are doing their vote. If I say about Plasma again, Plasma was established by a young generation. I was the founder, and I have got help a group of my colleagues, and we are doing good. We have never got handy ever from a donor. We didn't get one US dollar from a donor ever, and we are doing good in education, and we are just training people. We are giving scholarship for Somali young girls and boys. 
And if we get a hand, we are not rejecting, but we are not sitting waiting for help. We are doing this action with sustainable efforts. I say you again, just please help education so you will help to replace Mogadishu. Again, thank you, all of you. Thank you.